Have you ever felt insignificant or like you didn't fit whatever it was? You felt maybe small? Um, I think about that when I was reading the passage for Sunday and preaching the Emmaus walk, the Emmaus road experience in Luke 24. Um, the followers of Jesus are disappointed. They're, I picture them, they're walking away from Jerusalem and I picture them with their heads down. Um, the saddest words uh, spoken in that text uh, and in a lot of scripture is, we had hoped. Their hope is, is almost lost. It's dashed. Even though they knew the prophecy was that he would rise again, and, and even though they had heard from Mary and, and other uh, disciples that he had risen from the grave, they still uh, are disappointed, uh, feeling like they, they you know, what, what's the purpose? What's the point? Uh, what, what are we to do now? Uh, I was reading that text and thinking about making a transition. When I lived, when I was a junior high, we lived in uh, Orlando, Florida, but we had come from Indianapolis, Indiana. So the culture shock was was pretty significant. Um, every red-blooded uh, American boy that lived in Indiana played basketball. That's what you did. You were you played basketball, and of course, I tried to do that uh, with uh, with not great success. And uh, and then when we moved to Florida, every red-blooded American boy uh, or girl, for that matter, uh, skateboarded or surfed. And so um, that was the culture that I, I, I shifted into. And I tried to find my place. I tried to find where I fit. Um, it, was, it was a season of disappointment. I fell behind in school. I fell behind in my relationships. Um, I couldn't really figure out where I fit. Where, how, how did I belong? This is a whole new world for me. I think a lot of us can feel that way, especially during this time. Where, where do we fit? How, how do I fit into this picture? But here's the thing that I want you to make sure you see, or at least that you hear from me today. I don't want you to feel so disappointed that you give up. Don't give up on others. Don't give up on your churches. Don't give up on your pastors. Don't give up on your friends, your relationships, your family members. Don't let disappointment and doubt and fear cripple you to the point of just giving up. You know, for years I've, I've told people, you matter. You matter. You matter to me. You matter to the world. Uh, friends, I don't think that's thin theology. I don't think that's just positive thought. The reason why I say you matter is because Christ does show up and you are significant to him. You matter to him. Don't let disappointment, don't let those words of we had hoped, don't let that decide for you today. Don't live in disappointment of others. Don't let that write your story. Today, we can look at that text and see that Jesus was right there with them. It's just that they were so distracted by their disappointment that they couldn't see him. I hope that that today you'll realize that you absolutely matter. You fit into God's plan. You are God's plan. I hope today you'll be encouraged and know that everything you do and say matters to the kingdom of God. I hope you have a great day.